Coochie Dog The Coochie or Afghan Shepherd is an Afghan livestock guardian dog, taking its name from the Coochie people of Afghanistan. It is a working dog following the nomads, protecting caravans and flocks of sheep, goats, camels and other livestock from wolves, big cats and thieves. It is sometimes known as just a local variant of the Central Asian Shepherd Dog and its status as a distinct breed is disputable. Sage Kuchi or Sage Jangi is the standard Persian name and the Pashto name is Dakochiano Spy or Jangi Spy, meaning dog of the nomads and fighter dog. It is found around the central and northern parts of Afghanistan. This mountain dog shares similar genetic background to the Central Asian Ov Charka, CAO. Because the dog is intricately associated with nomad life in remote and rugged regions where western breeding techniques are not used, it is difficult to identify a true Kuchi type dog. Warfare and general unrest in the region has also affected the Kuchi people, of whom many have settled around cities, creating ample opportunity for the Kuchi to interbreed with other dogs. There is no organizing body for dogs in Afghanistan and some Kuchi dogs have been exported to Europe. Description The Kuchi dog breed possesses a very rich gene pool and the dogs adapt well to varying environments. It also means that gene expression can vary greatly from one individual to another. For that reason, it is often difficult for an unaccustomed observer to determine what makes a particular dog a true coochie dog, or what type of a coochie dog it is. In general, the coochie dog are large, often giant dogs, with a coat that can be short, medium, or long, backed by thick under wool. They vary in height, reaching from 23 to 26 inches, 58 to 66 centimeters, at the withers for the females and from 24 to 29 inches, 61 to 74 centimeters and more for the males. Their weight ranges from about 84 to 120 pounds, 38 to 54 kilograms, for the female dogs and from 88 to 176 pounds, 40 to 80 kilograms, and more for the male dogs. It seems probable that the so-called dogs of gore should be included among these coochie dogs. Their build is meloser like with lighter and heavier variants, all of them exhibiting a perfect scissor bite, and a majority of them free from most genetic defects like hip dysplasia. The shape of the head of a coochie dog can vary from a wedge-type head to a brick-type or a bear-type skull, the last one being associated mainly with the dogs of the mountain variety. Their tails are usually docked by about one-third of their length and usually point straight up or at a slight angle. Traditionally, their ears are cropped, almost to the very base. The coochie dogs are tall dogs, with a straight back line, which usually forms a square profile with the front and hind legs. The neck is usually long and thick with plenty of excess skin hanging from the base of the jaw to the chest. The head is carried horizontally, or at a slight downward angle, with eyes staring straight ahead. The muzzle is dry and muscular. Their body is often covered with dark spots which do not show through the coat. These spots can also cover the inside of the mouth, the bridge of the nose and the abdomen. The color of the coat comes in many varieties and is of no importance to determining the breed or the type of coochie dog. Neither is the length or structure of the hair. Most often, a strip of longer, more wiry hair covers the entire length of the back line, while the neck area is packed with thick and slippery under wool, as well as hair that is slightly longer than over the rest of the body. The tooth sizes range from small in some females to very large in males, with the fangs often exceeding one and one quarter inch. The shape of the fangs can form a hook with a thicker base and the point directed toward the inside of the mouth, or can be straighter and tusk-like, much like a wolf's. There are three main regional types recognized, belonging to one of two body types of dogs, the lion type and the tiger type. Those are determined depending on the build and the motor characteristics. Subvariants and Types The Kuchi dogs can roughly be divided into three types, the mountain type, the steppe type and the desert type. Another way to classify the Kuchi dog could be according to a lion type, Jin Sherry, or a tiger type, Jin Spalangi. This division applies mostly to the desert type dogs but it is important to keep in mind that each of the regional variants can display characteristics found in other types as well. The difference between the two can also be seen in the way they move. The lion type dogs are more majestic in motion, they appear very proud thanks to keeping their heads raised while they walk. The tiger type dogs exhibit more of a sidewinding, cat-like motion, with the head usually at the level of the body, and front paws swinging inwards when walking, running, or jumping. Both types are extremely agile and possess tremendous speed and tenacity when running or attacking. Temperament Throughout history, the Kuchi people needed their dogs to be extremely vigilant in guarding their livestock and belongings. 
They trusted their dogs to safeguard their camps and caravans on their seasonal journeys. They also needed their dogs to be extremely tough, not only in the face of danger, but also for braving the rough environmental conditions that required an incredible ability to adapt. The Kuchis traveled from the mountains, through the deserts, in the freezing cold and in the searing heat, through country that, for days, did not offer shelter, food, or even water. They needed dogs that would survive in all kinds of extreme conditions, and still be able to perform their duties without hindering the progress of the caravan. They often had no spare time or energy left to feed and take care of their dogs. They could not afford to wait for them if they fell ill, or to keep checking to make sure they did not fall behind or run off. The Coochies needed dogs that would be fierce and possess unmatched stamina, courage and strength, but at the same time would be extremely intelligent, trustworthy and independent. They needed dogs that could function without any special guidance or training. The resulting breed can be described as representing dogs of unwavering character, strong sense of pride and keen sense of ownership, social status and territory, demonstrating outstanding tenacity and perseverance, and possessing unrivaled strength and agility, all of which enable them to defend everything that is a part of their turf and extended pack against all predators and intruders. They can also be extremely friendly and affectionate and tend to form deep emotional bonds with their pack members. However, their independent minds also make them incompatible with the Western lifestyle. They are prone to aggression towards most other dogs, and often humans, who encroach on their territory. This could include postal workers, utility company repairmen, emergency personnel and even friends and family members they have not been acquainted with before, and their territory could extend well beyond the regular house and backyard. This breed is also very vocal in expressing their emotions. Coochie dogs often growl to show either pleasure or displeasure, which can be misconstrued by many, especially children, as a sign of aggression, and lead to unwanted and potentially dangerous reactions on their part. This does not mean that the Coochie breed is entirely unmanageable. But it does mean that, in order to maintain safety and keep Coochie dogs and their owners in good health and spirits, these dogs demand special attention from their owners who should be experts on this particular breed and on animal behavior in general. Breed history Geographical locale favored the development of various types of the coochie dog. For example, in mountainous regions, the heavier coated and large bone dogs were preferred, while in a desert environment a lighter, more agile build was more desirable. Natural selection occurred due to environmental conditions, as well as human preferences. Over the centuries, the breeds that settled would become associated with that region and some have even received names and international kennel breed status. The Kongal dog of Turkey, the Caucasian Shepherd dog in the Caucasus region and many other breeds, such as the large Shepherd breeds of Europe, all belong to this group of dogs. The Central Asian Ov Charka, or Cow, is a variant created by Russian breeders desiring to classify a highly varied group of dogs of Central Asia into a breed standard which would allow the dogs to be graded when judged in competition at popular dog shows. This variant often appears as a large-bodied, heavier-headed, more uniform type, both in color, often white, coat texture, shorter, less variety, and body type. There is a significant divergence of type from the native Kuchi dogs to the show-winning Srednoasiatska of Charka. The Kuchi dogs have not changed their basic phenotype over the same period of time, often appearing to be diverse in color, head type, body mass and coat type. The Kuchi dogs need to work with their owners, fulfilling their duties. Otherwise they may act out their frustrations and lack of sense of purpose in ways that can be unacceptable to their owners and the rest of society. They are still a very primitive breed, the Kuchi dog has natural guarding instincts that are not for the show ring as purely working lines instincts that are